Hey Libra, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. It's been a minute, has it not? I've been on a bit of a sabbatical doing some internal soul searching. I've been in the hermit mode for a minute, right? Doing some soul searching, some introspection, honing some of my skills, learning some new things, and now I'm back with a vengeance, a vengeance, Libra. I do want to warn you that this channel may be R-rated. It may or it may not. Um, fair warning, heads up, okay? I do drop the F-bomb every now and then, and I do tell it straight, okay? All right, so this is a general reading for the sign of Libra. May fit, may not. If it resonates with you, run with it. And if it doesn't, don't try to fit your feet in somebody else's shoes and run with it because we all get blisters and bad feet, right? So if it's not yours, leave it on the table and walk away. All right. Um, as always, Libra, it is absolutely freaking stupid to make a life-altering decision based on a general tarot card reading. If you see something in this that you need more clarification or understanding about, or if it doesn't resonate with you and you just want your own reading, reach out to your favorite tarot card reader. My information is in the link in the box below. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com and I would love to do a one-on-one -on -one personal reading with you. All right, Libra. So we open this reading with the Queen of Wands right here, right? This Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands in my readings, unless it is an energy, is always the other party, okay? It's always a third party, I should say. It's always the other woman, okay? So you open this reading with the Queen of Wands and the hangman thinking, right? Thinking, processing, surrendering, coming out on the other side with a new perspective about how you're going to gain balance in this relationship and manifest a brand new beginning, now, I wanted to know pre-Queen of Wands, what's going on here, right? What's going on? What we have here is this. What's going on? So, we have you doing some deep contemplation and reevaluation. Wanting justice in a situation because somebody is already embedded in your life. And it poses a huge challenge for you when it comes to teamwork and collaboration because somebody else is on your mind. This Three of Pentacles is also, to me, always gives a hint of a third party situation, okay? This Three of Pentacles is not an active third party situation, but there is a third energy in the background. Um, when it comes to teamwork and collaboration with another. This is a tower moment for you, okay? You are going to create a tower moment. There is a revelation and awakening that you're having about this Queen of Wands. Remember, you're involved with the Queen of Pentacles right here, okay? This is the person who's already rooted in your life. Okay? There's a massive awakening, a revelation that you're, having, that you're having about this Queen of Pentacles character. And you are going to create your own tower moment and create upheaval, chaos, and change in the relationship with this Queen of Pentacles character. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Queen of Pentacles represents home and and life in general, right? The stuff that hits us in the breadbasket, which tells me that this person is already embedded in your life somehow, some way. Tower moment is absolutely eminent because this Queen of Pen Queen of Wands is what's on your mind. Hence the hangman. Queen of Wands is on your mind. What's on your mind is how you can balance out this situation and prioritize. Um, the manifestation of a new opportunity with this Queen of Wands. King of Swords comes in and says that to do this, you have to cut something out of your life. The Ace of Cups represents a, a uh, blocked emotions, blocked creativity. To the Three of Swords, which is um, creating heartbreak, pain, rejection, sorrow. Okay, 
So what this tells me is that before you can manifest a new opportunity with this Queen of Wands that's on your mind, before you can prioritize going forward, you are blocking your creative connection with this Queen of Pentacles person, going to break some hearts, create some pain and some sorrow. Because for you to take inspired action to this Queen of Wands, you must eliminate the Queen of Pentacles. Alchemist says, once you do this, you are going to manifest a love situation with the lover's card. You are going to manifest a love situation by sending a message to this Queen of Wands of creation. Okay? All right. Backtrack. Five of Swords says that there is a lot of conflict in this relationship with the Queen of Pentacles. Five of Swords is about conflict, tension, loss, defeat, win at all costs, betrayal, and mind games. So you're feeling kind of shady because you know that you're not invested in this Queen of Pentacles who still seems to be a part and embedded in your life, right? You're not invested in this Queen of Pentacles. You are not going to go forward into your future with this Queen of Pentacles. And you are bringing it all to a culmination and putting an absolute ending to everything. Death comes in, reiterates the Ten of Swords. You are ending a relationship with this person who is already a part of your life. In order to transform and transition into a situation which calls for reuniting and reconciling your differences with somebody from your past, who is this Queen of Wands? The Ten of Swords in reverse says that you want to resurrect this relationship from the dead. This is about recovery and regeneration. You want to resurrect, reconcile, reunite with the Queen of Pentacles. The Fool card comes in and says that you want to take a leap of faith. Prince of Cups says that you are in touch with your emotions about this particular situation. To the Lover's card, again, you're in touch with your emotions about this situation and you want to offer your cup of love in a love situation to the Queen of Wands. Hold up. I need to tell y'all something because we have repeating cards here, right? Um, this <laughs> You're probably so confused. I have two separate Tarot Illuminati decks. I have the old tried and true, and then I have the brand new one, okay? I use the old tried and true as the root cards, and the brand new one as the clarifying cards. That's why you see repeating cards of the same deck, okay? All right. I know, confusion. Sorry about that. So you want to take a leap of faith. You want to have a new beginning and a new journey. You're going to offer your cup of love to this Queen of Wands character in hopes of, of creating a love situation. The star card says that you want to renew this hope, faith, purpose, renewal of this love situation from the past with the Queen of Wands once you eliminate the Queen of Pentacles from your life. Star card comes in and says that you have absolute mental clarity, absolute mental clarity. After much um, contemplation, searching your intuition, your subconscious mind, you believe that reaching out and renewing this relationship with the Queen of Wands is going to bring stability um, security and control into the situation. You're going to stabilize the situation with the Queen of Wands. And the Ten of Pentacles says that this is something that you want to build a solid foundation on. You want to build something of substance with this Queen of Wands. Okay, there you go, Libra. That is what's going on with you for the next two weeks or so of August, right? You may see yourself anywhere in this reading. Perhaps this hasn't happened for you yet. Perhaps you find yourself in the midst of all of this, or perhaps this has already happened for you. But nevertheless, if this reading is resonating with you, this is what the cards say is uh, coming down the road for you, Libra. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If this reading does not resonate with you, or if you're a, a cross watcher who happens to be the queen of pentacles um 
I don't need negative comments, okay? If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Take it and run with it or leave it on the table. There is no in-between, okay? Awesome. There you go. Namaste.